Hey guys, um, this is Charlene Rodriguez, and I'm going to be presenting my show and tell. Okay, so after a lot of reflection about my service this year, I can say that it can be summed up in one phrase, and that is that it's all in the community. And what I mean by that is I'm recognizing that my service couldn't have gone as well as I wanted without the help of my community, without the help of the school community, the administrators, the community partners, everyone coming together to support me in executing the Food Corps program and um, you know, achieving something that hopefully will be sustainable moving forward. Um, a little backstory, I found some inspiration in the Food Corps fifth grade lesson called the Nutrient Cycle. After um, teaching that lesson, I quickly realized that what I was trying to do during my service is actually Im impact uh, create impact about the nutrient cycle within the school. And so from looking at it from that angle, I realized that I can recategorize um, my partners and, and just the work within the three areas of service into producers, consumers, and decomposers and figure out how I can support each of those groups in the nutrient cycle. And it turns out um, that it really does take a, a village to raise healthy kids. Um, before I jump into some pictures, I wanted also to share with you what I, I learned and took away from my service this year, and that is um, how to lean into my community to ask for help, for support, um, be supportive, and express my gratitude. Um, I learned a lot about myself, especially um, the, from the perspective of my own racial identity. I just want to thank Food Corps and Green Village Initiative for giving me the framework and the vocabulary I needed to continue on my own journey um, and giving me the space to work and, and contribute towards anti-racism um, within the organizations. I'm walking away with confidence, compassion, courage, hope, and a new sense of community in Bridgeport. And of course, I've learned how to be resilient during this global pandemic that we are facing today. A couple pictures. Um, I did this artwork to express to my kids this concept of the nutrient cycle. Um, and the one phrase in there is how producers, consumers, and decomposers, this was found in the lesson, our garden allies, garden allies help maintain the nutrient, uh, the health of the soil. And without the health of the soil, we wouldn't have healthy food. So all in all, garden allies, it's all in the soil. <laughs> um, and the same thing goes for the school. If you want a, a healthy school culture, producers, which would be our farmers, our community partners, and nutrition centers, students as consumers, um, and the whole school community need to partake in order to ensure that we, we work towards the goal of creating a healthy school system, food system. So school allies, it's all in the community. Um, in addition, I wanted to share with you guys some cool, some photos from my service and some of the partners I worked with, including Green Village Initiative, the Bridgeport Nutrition Center, A Pinch of Salt, Park City Harvest, 88 Acres, and of course, the Food Core Connecticut cohort who I really leaned into during the, the pandemic to ensure that I can still um, complete my service uh, for the second half of the year. And then this is some pictures of, from my two, my, the two schools, Lewis Marin Elementary, especially the after school program and multicultural magnet um, highlighting the, the garden club. And even though I didn't get to do this, um, we did, I, I love the worm bin lesson and I invited Monique Bosch to talk to the school about um, you know, utilizing worm bins. Um, and that was just a really fun day. So here's some pictures about that. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. Um, I had an awesome year um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to working with Food Corps again. All right, take care everyone, bye.